I think it's a number of factors. Uh, but I think the main reason is all the irregular working hours. Sadly, uh, but it, for most women, uh, they still have responsibility for the family. And I think it's taking care of children, the elderly members maybe, the house, even cats and dogs, and working uh, uh, in aviation is often works that needs to be done in weekends, during nights, early morning, late evenings. So I think this is the most important factor. And then of course there are some other factors like there is uh, unsecure and unsafe environments, especially when traveling to and from work. Um, uh, some of the commuting can be, can be very uh, uncomfortable for women. I think it both physical and psychological. And, and I think women uh, have experience from violence from customers, passengers, from colleagues, uh, and from other people they meet on their way to and from work, especially when traveling, in, for example, late Saturday evening, it can be quite um, a challenge to, to travel by yourself. Uh, but also, sadly, the most uh, affected the most important factor is for family members and of course travel, women working in aviation has has the same problems in, in their very close relations I think the first thing uh, and I think is to raise awareness we have to talk about this openly everywhere we have to talk about it in our workplace we have to talk about it in our families but we also have to talk about it in our unions. And I think uh, if you try to, to put worth on these things, it's, it's when the problem comes, it's easier to ha handle it. Because when you, if you start to talk about it when and something has happened, it's too late. <laughs> I think first and most important, of course, is to assist and support those affected. Because it can be, and I've seen in, in my, my experience, it's, 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 this is getting, it's really hard for those affected. Uh, especially if it's uh, a close relationship, if, if it's a family member or if it's a colleague. And, and I think it's, um, we need to support them and, and also encourage them to report because there is a great fear of reporting.